Hello, this is the Pros Tutorial 2 for VEX Robotics and again I'm using the old Cortex. I don't have the new Cortex quite yet. When I get it I'll probably redo these tutorials. But uh, while I have the old Cortex and I have the new system I might as well go over some basics on it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you guys in this video is uh, basically how to put together your first program, compile, and download it to your robot. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is set up your motor. So I'm going to uh, push the pound symbol and I'm going to define my motor variables. So motor, or uh, let me go right motor. Uh, I'm going to set that to 2. And then I'm going to define my left motor and set that equal to 3 because those are the ports that I have them plugged into. Uh, since this is an operator control and I, I'm not using a remote control, I'm going to delete that while loop. And then I'm going to start typing wait. Click on enter and then put for 2000, put a semicolon. The next thing I'm going to do is start setting up my motors and what you want to type in is motor set. Uh, so that's this one right here and the nice part about this program, every time you shift down it tells you exactly what each function does. So click on motor set and push enter. And it also tells you which variables you need to plug in. So motor set, I'm going to set my right motor here. So right motor right motor push enter and then initialize the speed and again that's 127 negative 127 or 0 so 127 and then I'm going to put a semicolon now I'm going to set up my left motor so I'm going to copy all this paste that and start typing left motor in all caps it'll come up and just push enter to fill it in and the last part I'm just going to wait and I'm going to do 2,000 milliseconds again. And that's it. That's it for my program. So I want to compile this or build this project. So start getting used to saying build instead of compile. And in order to build, again, you can push down Control, Shift, and P, and then look up Build, Trigger, or you can push any of these hotkeys here. So I'm going to push F9 this time and then I'm going to click on save and build and what this does it'll change all my code to a robot friendly language now that I've built it now I need to download it in order to download it you just push on this icon right here or control and F9 so I'm going to push control and F9 and since my robot is plugged in and everything is running it is compiling that to my bot now if I turn on my bot and recompile this. I should have had my bot turned on when I did this before, but uh, let's say I re-download it to my bot or upload it to my bot. So I'm going to re-upload it to my bot and it should run the wheels this time and let's see if you guys can see that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What happened? Let me try it one more time. One more time. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's push Control and F9. Uh, let's listen for it. There it goes. It is running. And I'm going to stop this recording. I'll see you in the next tutorial.